Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eric Coffin, HR Advisories. I'm here at the Metal Investor Forum, September 2024. Uh, I'm here with Darwin Green. He's the chair of one of the uh, companies that I invited to present in my speaking block, uh, Onyx Gold, Sybil is NYX. Uh, Onyx has got projects in the Yukon and Timmins, but we're, I mean, we're probably gonna mainly talk about Timmins today. Uh, Onyx is a really large land position. Uh, it, it includes a, you know, a, a project called Creases, which is historically insanely high grade. Um, you know, small, small zones, not easy to find, but the grades are ridiculous. Uh, but they have they have found a new high grade vein there. But uh, the other thing that's of interest is they they made a new discovery on the project uh, zone they call Argus. And they they've put out a they put out a few you know pretty interesting looking holes. I mean they were they were getting 50, 75, 100 meters of you know usually sub gram stuff. And I thought it you know I thought it was interesting. I thought it was similar to some of the big regional deposits. Um, I can understand why Manage was excited about it, but I was kind of hoping to see slightly better grades. Well, as it happens, you know last week they they released uh, the last hole of the last drill program. And that one did indeed have the better grades. I think it was like 48 meters of almost 1.9 grams. I mean, that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff that's really looking mineable. And, and interestingly, a couple of the sub intervals actually look really good. Uh, you know, very very underground mineable stuff. Um, and I think it's still wide open. So you guys you guys think you get this thing, you know, the bull by the horns a little bit here at Argus. We do, we do. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit of a sleeper discovery in a way, you know? I think when we were first drilling this, there was, was actually pre-spin out of, of creation of Onyx and we were up in Alaska and you know, we had a big high grade deposit up there. And then Onyx was in large part created. So we, you know, in addition to Yukon, so we could really get after Timmins proper and starved for capital. And uh, yeah, but we're, you know, we're, we hit 135 meters of a half gram. And that to us was very meaningful. I mean. And I'm, I'm going to roll back a little bit here. Our whole approach was in Timmins is kind of looking for underexplored areas with great geological re real estate. You know, we all know Timmins is kind of the, you know, the upper echelon of gold producing jurisdictions within Canada and North America. And um, I think there's a sentiment out there that everything's been picked over. And we looked at it and said, but there's huge tracts of land here that, with great, great geology that have gone underexplored. Some of those areas went underexplored for for different reasons. Where we are at Croesus was actually kind of due to Croesus in a way. Right. In that in 1909, when it was found, it was so incredibly high grade. There was a staking rush. There's all these claims picked up, and then, you know, that rush faded, and you know, there was a little bit of work done back then. But these people that held on to these claims and passed from family to family. They all right. kind of felt like they had a piece of the Croesus mine. Right. And so they were willing to pay the taxes and keep these things going. But when you have fragmented patchwork of one or two or three unit claim blocks, it's really hard to, to really get after to explore. And they, they basically went underexplored for, for almost 100 years in some places, some of these right. claims. And uh, so that was step one was to consolidate. And we, you know, it's kind of hard to really appreciate how much consolidation we've done. It was. 27, I think we're up to deal number 27 on Monroe Croesus. We're well right. over 30 or 40 on the camp as a whole. A lot of hard work to get there. And there's still a few more pieces. We, you know, we're not tiring of it. <laughs> we'll right. keep acquiring while we can. And we did this. Well, kind of the market was looking elsewhere. There were other jurisdictions that were sexier or whatever else. And and now we've got, you know, at Croesus alone, it's bigger than Great Bears Dixie property. Right. Yes. And we have basically three Dixie properties, if you will, yeah. in Timmins, which is kind of the most one of the most competitive jurisdictions around, but it, it took a long time to do it and we're there. And then we went about doing systematic exploration and now we're seeing dividends right. with actually feeling like we're on to the very, very beginning stage of a what could be a potentially significant new discovery. Yeah, and Argus, I mean, what what you've discovered there recently, that's that's basically wide open. I mean, you you got you got room to chase. But I think you've got um, you got a crew out doing some surface now, right? I mean, I think you're trying to figure out where this thing skies out that you just hit. Yeah, that's right. You know, one of the things that's kind of neat about it, it's been sitting there lying in plain sight. You know, 100 years ago, a half gram to two grams to, you know, those kind of numbers didn't get anyone excited. They're all looking for the super narrow, the narrow high grade veins. 
So this is there's actually pretty decent outcrop in this area where you you know it's not 100 by any stretch uh, at all. But uh, yeah, we we're going out and we're finding and then stripping back the moss and the overburden to uh, do channel sampling to see if we can track down where this new Argus North zone actually comes through. Um, you know that what's really neat about that is a lot of these bulk tonnage open pit systems that are in the key, Archean in the Apatibi, oftentimes they're under a lot of cover or they're under a swamp. That impacts the economics ultimately of developing these things. This right. is sticking out of the ground. Um, you know, don't want to get too far ahead of myself talking right. about mining, but those things really do matter. Um, and it's kind of crazy to think stuff like that in a place like Timmins has just been waiting to be found, right. if you will. And it took the consolidation, and that's yeah, here. Here we are at the beginning of it. So we're, you know, as I say, we're pretty excited. Yeah, and well, and your plan, I think, is uh, you're you are planning to go back and put some more holes in it fairly soon here. Yeah, that's right. So we've been doing surface work to kind of shore up more of the geology. You know, the evolution here, we started on the west end and it, or the east end, sorry. And it's actually open to the east, but we, we've just continued to go west on these big, bold step outs. And the zone itself, we originally thought was more northeast trending, northeast trending, but it's pretty clearly east-west trending now. And what we've seen, it's a slight angle to the main pipestone fault. That pipestone fault or break is what hosts the Fen Gib deposit about six kilometers immediately along trend. They neighbor, they're our neighbors to right. the east. They're up over four million ounces now. Um, and we're seeing a lot of similarities to the two deposit or two systems. I should yeah. say we're not a deposit yet. But we were, well, let's keep tracking. This is, you know, that's very significant. It's the first time we documented bulk tonnage mineralization, and we can go kilometers, several kilometers this way or this way from that first hole. Let's see now if we can. We're into a system, see if we can walk it into better grade. And we've seen progressively better grades as right. we've been going to the west and approaching that intersection with the pipestone itself. With, you know, this section that includes, you know, the 48 meters of 1.9 grams gold, you know, there's two other holes of 20 to 30 meters of close to a gram. This, this new Argus zone north though it's sitting by itself it's further north than right. this other stuff so you've already got tens of meters of a gram over here we got 60 meters of a gram like those are kind of classic mine all day long bulk right. tonnage open pit type grades uh now we're seeing these better grades and it's yeah we've actually gone way to the west now we in fact we just did a deal that gave us even more a couple more kilometers of coverage of the pipestone break um you know and we're Again, we're seeing half gram, two and a half gram type numbers on surface, much like we see right above here. So, yeah, we think it's it's a good place to be, you know. And if you're hitting those kind of intersections, you know, if you hit it, you see a news release, you see those kind of results, you go, that that's pretty solid. It's got a grade thickness product that's very meaningful. Right. You know, those are the kind of things you want to see. The big discoveries usually originate with those kind of results in the first five or ten thousand meters of drilling. Right. But then you've got to put the context around it. Like, how does it relate? What other information either kind of elevates the profile of that or, 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 or decreases it, you know? And in our case, the fact that you got multi-million ounce deposits as neighbors, the fact that you've got these incredibly high grade veins peripheral to it tells you there's a big bubbling gold system. The fact that now we've tra tracked it out about 750 meters along strike and, and is wide open. We, we think bodes very well. Like it increases your odds in our view of these things becoming something and you know and we're not even talking the vertical dimension now that we're seeing in its several holes now good right. underground mineable type grades and widths i mean you know these systems yeah. in there are key and they plunge to the center of the earth right, right. Yeah. it's it, so it's uh, we're excited yeah it sounds great and you've got uh, i think you've got a couple of million bucks to play with so you're you know you don't you don't need to revisit the market before doing a drill another drill phase here yeah i mean we're pretty confident there are better times ahead for the junior market. I mean, we've been saying it for a long time, but um, if you don't have to finance and you're seeing gold literally hit all time highs as it did today, yeah. it seems like every week that goes by, it's hitting more all time highs. It really is a matter of time. Eventually it will yeah. come around. Um, we're sitting in a very comfortable spot and that we got, we entered September with over 2 million of hard dollars in our account. You know, it wasn't flow through. These are good, solid, and so we, you know, we do intend to get the drills fired up yep. before the end of the year here. Um, we want to get back at it and, and just keep extending from, from here. And, 
you know, it's primarily on, on Argus, but we've got some super sexy high grade veins too that are brand new. Like we we found basically another parallel creases type vein. We've right. only drilled it down about 50 meters from surface and haven't hit the you know multi percent grades of gold. Right. But we did it. You know, we got 360 grams over you know a foot. Yeah. Uh, you know, 10 ounces over a foot, 50 grams over a half meter. It's 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 encouraging. So there's mm -hmm. that, and there's a whole pipeline of other prospects. Like now that we've done this mass consolidation, there's so many things to check out. Um, but for the meantime, Argus is, is certainly going to be a priority. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It sounds it sounds really good. Uh, Onyx Gold, ONYX, on the venture. Uh, very good looking project in Timmins. Uh, we didn't we didn't talk about the Yukon. There's a there's a pretty nice project. Pretty nice drill target there too, but I mean, obviously, Yukon being a Yukon, that'll have to wait till next summer. Uh, but Timmins, you can you can pretty much work year round, other than breakup, really, I guess. Yeah, and even with breakup, we can drill. It's just more convenient to yeah. to do it. But yeah, you can work year round. You got high highway access to the property. You can drill for a third of the price of the Yukon, and and you're hitting good mineralization. It's it's a nice place to be exploring, and it's um, yeah, it's it's good time to be exploring. Yeah. For sure. There you go. Onyx Gold. Check it out. Thanks for coming by and giving us the update, Darwin. For sure, Eric. Thank, Thank you. you.